Tuesday. Why are you stopping behind me? <laughs> anyway, I'm at Target and I'm trying to figure out my kicks here. I'm debating whether or not to go to the stores in the mall just to like walk in and get some kicks because I think I have a lot of kicks built up. But it's, I think it, what time? It's already almost 12 o'clock, so I don't know if I'm going to have enough time today. I might have to wait till Thursday. <sighs> uh I'm tired already, but that chia seed pudding this morning was delicious. I meant to show it. Maybe I'll show you guys later on. Um, it was so good. I had it with some Mueller's yogurt, and uh, yeah, the Mueller's yogurt is going to be history soon because I'm going vegan, but I guess I could find some sort of other type of yogurt to put on there because I swear to God, it tastes just like having dessert for breakfast when you have that chia seed pudding with a little bit of um, yogurt, whether it be soy or coconut or whatever yogurts they make. I'm eventually going to be making a cashew-based yogurt homemade recipe. Uh, I just ordered about five pounds of cashews. They should be arriving on Thursday. So I'm excited about that because um, the mozzarella last night was okay, like Mark said. Uh, I the one that I made last time, the buffalo mozzarella with the cashews, was way better so I'm looking forward to my cashews arriving they're just so darned expensive if you guys know of any um, great places to get cashews on the cheap I'm looking to spend no more than like six dollars a pound so and they have to be raw so if you know of any um, places to buy them Sam's Club doesn't have raw they only have the uh, roasted ones and these definitely have to be raw because you have to start to sprout them before you um, make them into the cheese. So let me know. Hi, horrible child. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I wasn't going to say anything. And then I, this, the comments are getting ridiculous. So I was going to write back now, but I really have to get ready for work. But I I'm just doing anything else. I don't have to prove myself to you guys. And, I, you know... Despite, like, I know I need to work on some aspects of my personality, I don't know how you think it's okay to cut me down in the comments and be exactly what you're accusing me of. So, it's so hypocritical, I just don't understand. I just find the whole thing hilarious. I would never, ever leave a rude comment on someone's page like that. Well, I even would. If I, even if it was, like, warranted, you know? It's, you have I wouldn't leave a comment, but I'd sure call I, somebody out. Basically, what it boils down to is... How do you think you can judge me? We're all human, you know what I mean? Besides sure the fact that they don't even know you. <laughs> you need to work on, you know? They don't know your life. They don't. They really don't. They don't know Kristen. They see this Those much of Kristen. Those who live in glass houses should not throw stones. <laughs> all right. Thank you, Kristen. I just got back from the store. And I didn't buy too much today. I know it looks like a lot, but it's not really. Because the items that I did buy are big. Like this is big, and this is big, and this is big, and that's big. So it, it looks like a lot more than it actually is, but it's really not much at all. And today, I actually did go to the mall. I walked in and out of Macy's to get my kicks. I walked in and out of Old Navy to get my kicks. And I got lots of kicks at Target as well. So, let's begin. Kristen wanted tuna. I don't know what it is with tuna. You'd think it would be on sale because it's like Lent, but ten, $10 for eight cans. I guess that's not horrible, but um, I want a dollar again, a dollar per can. <laughs> Stores, mark your tuna down, it's Lent. I got more almonds because um, they're good for everything. Kristen eats them every morning raw. And uh, you can also make cheese, nut cheese, from al from almonds. And thank you very much, Sam's Club. They must be listening to me because they don't have the soy milk in the refrigerated section anymore. They have it in the, um, you know, the grocery packs. But in the refrigerated section, they have three packs of almond milk, which I will be buying the next time I go to Sam's Club because it's much cheaper to buy it at Sam's Club than uh, the supermarket. Or even Target, actually. All right, they don't have all the varieties, but they do have the one that I like. I like the original one that's 60 calories per serving. 
I got some goldfish for lunch snacking back there. Uh, Kristen's tortilla chips. I brought this uh, from Maddie. I'm going to hopefully be seeing her soon. I'm going to bring that up to her. Also these. I'm going to bring some more of these up for her. I got those uh, basically for Verdell. You guys know I stopped giving him the cheese after he gets his injection. And now he just gets one chicken nugget uh, cut up after he gets his injection. And it seems to have uh, improved his digestion and everything now. I don't think dogs are meant to eat dairy, unfortunately. <laughs> I don't think humans are either, really. Lara bars, because they're still on sale, 680 for the 8-pack, pretty good. For up here, anyway. I don't know what it is by you guys, but I would pay usually a dollar a bar, so. Riddell, come over here. <laughs> I got another uh, canister for uh, the cashews when they arrive because I like to keep them in an airtight uh, jar, in a glass jar. They stay fresher that way. And I picked this up. This was on the clearance section. $4.48 uh, for Xbox 360 with the Kinect. I guess it's some sort of a um, brain physical activity thing. I think Sean might enjoy that. This I hadn't seen at, tar at uh, Sam's Club, but I got it. The Mueller Fruit Up. I usually get the other one, but I wanted to try this one for a change. Because I only really get the other one for the caramelized almonds. <laughs> and you only get a few of those in there. So, um, four of them to be exact. I wish I could get a whole case of just the caramelized almonds. But these look really good because it's got fruit mousse on the top. I wanted to try that. Another fruit plate. Another veggie plate, because we're doing really good with those. I actually used up all my vanilla this week, so I got another pure vanilla at uh, Sam's Club. Ooh, 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 Rachel Ray. I absolutely adore this. I wish I had her whole line, but I can't afford it. This was on sale for $26. Um, I needed a bigger saucepan, because I have, like, the big pasta pot, and then I have the two-quart so I really needed a three or a four quart, so I ended up getting the three. And I love this. It's got the cushy handle, and um, I love the glass lid because I like to see what's going on in there. I don't think this one has the vent on the lid, though. I kind of prefer the one that has the vent because, um, you know, you don't want it, like, tick, 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 when it starts to boil. I hate that. I like if it's just, you know, the steam can be released. It's a pain in the neck. I don't like because then it gets all drippy if you got to... Put the lid on its side. Maybe the other lid will fit on that one because the other one has a steam release. Uh, I got one of these. This was only two and change. They had a Giada one that was smaller. That was like $8. But um, I figure two and change, yeah, I could do that because I don't want to scratch my nice pots. You can't, you don't really scratch them too badly when you use the, um, if you gently use metal utensils, but um, I don't want to take any chances, especially with whisking. Got some Munster cheese for everyone else. Got some, I only got the small mozzarella this time for everyone else. Oh, Verdell's all Trotsky over there. <laughs> he just stole someone's skin. Uh, I'm going to be making my own mozzarella for me. I don't know if I'm going to force everyone to eat my vegan cheese. If it's really good, I will. But if it's just marginal, I can't force them to eat it. It's not fair. Just because I want to be vegan doesn't mean the rest of the world has to be. Uh, Dole salad. Love this stuff. Um, stopped at Petco. This organics food is just so great. And it's still on sale. I got the chicken brown rice flaxseed. The flaxseed is really good at regulating Verdell's insulin. So that's, ba that's basically why I get that kind. It's got to have a significant amount of flaxseed in it. I also got the Healthy Favorites um, Chewy Treats. I hope this is grain free. I have a feeling it's not, but he does like it and it does agree with his stomach. So it's been pretty good. I got more apples. This time I got the Fuji because they're a little bit bigger. The uh, Jumani were a little bit smaller. I like a bigger apple. So I got that one instead. It was a little bit cheaper too. I got the cats more food. Their absolute favorite is the rabbit. And I had gotten a case of rabbit and a case of venison. And they don't like the venison much at all. They fooled me. When I first got it, they were like, oh, okay, we'll eat this. And then they were like, so <laughs> I went back. I got that on a, a delivery schedule. They send me two cases every month. 
I went back and I changed it to two cases of rabbit and got rid of the case of the venison, but I have to kind of feed it to them. And I'm going to try the lamb. I got a couple cans of the lamb, see how they like that. And of course, I got the organics for uh, the dogs to have mixed in with their nuggets. And I've started giving the dogs a little bit of brown rice with their food mixed in too, mostly because Verdell was having um, some digestion issues because when I guess I changed foods too quickly. So I, w I needed to get him back on track, but... He's back on track now, and they really seem to like that rice. And I, I think it's the brown rice is pretty good for them because I think it digests pretty slowly. I got the short grain brown rice, so and it, it's very, it tastes very good. I love it. I eat it all the time. I will have two cups in the morning for breakfast, but this morning I enjoyed the chia seed put chia seed pudding for breakfast. Let me go, let me show it to you guys so you can see what I'm talking about. All right guys, there's the chia seed pudding and you can see it is very rich and thick. Um, you have to stir it like like when I woke up this morning I stirred it around and I let it sit for a little bit longer and it got like this thick. Basically, it resembles tapioca. So if you love tapioca, you will love this chia seed pudding. And I make it in chocolate because I really like chocolate. And the raw cacao is good for you. And I used agave instead of sugar. So uh, agave is basically sugar with a low glycemic index. So it's healthier for you. And I only used a few tablespoons. And it's got like twice the sweetness spoon for spoon of sugar. So you don't have to use as much either. But this was just so good. And... The longer you let it sit, the less crunchy it gets. Like overnight is fine. It's not going to be crunchy the next day. But you can even add more and more almond milk to it and it will um, it'll get, you know, smoother and smoother. I mean, there comes a point where you just can't add any more milk to it. <laughs> Please, no more milk. Uh, but this is fantastic. I'm going to have this with one of those Mueller's fruit ups uh, tomorrow for breakfast if I don't have it for dessert first tonight um, with some of the fruit from the fruit plate. But good stuff. I really highly recommend that you try it. Flash says you better try it or he'll bite you. And one more thing. I forgot to show you this when I was doing the highlights because it was on the chair. Target actually had a lot of clearance today. Not too much that I was looking for, but a lot of stuff. Because I guess they're getting totally rid of all the um, fall, winter, late winter stuff. And all the spring stuff is being put out. So I remember these came out in like winter. I love these. Um, I love their denim. It fits me really well. These are uh, skinny. Fit 3, which is me. And uh, $8.38, marked down from $27.99. So that's pretty good. Size 12, kids. Yep, that's... Oh, Homer says, really? Let me see. Hi, Recap Cat. How you doing? Yeah, your mommy just went to work. Now it's party time. <laughs> right? Is it party time? Well, I don't know. Party time? Party time? No. Party time? No. <laughs> oh, it's the best time of the day! I'm McCoy convinced to try my chia That's seed pudding mix. again. What? Yeah, mix it up. Mix it up good. It's delicious. I had it for breakfast this morning. Now you can be totally honest. You won't hurt my feelings. I'm pretty confident that you're going to like it. For what reason? Pudding should not be crunchy. It's not crunchy. It's, it's crunchy. slightly crunchy. What the hell is that? Chocolate. It's like chocolate. It's red. Uh, fresh raw cacao. It has like a reddish brown tint to it. I don't like the crunch. Is that the only thing that's bothering you? It doesn't taste like chocolate either. Um. All right, it's not a box mix. You can have it. <laughs> Enjoy. And I will. I plan on it. <sighs> Thanks, son. <laughs> I want him to be honest. I really do. I do. He's, um, let's just say when I met him, 
he didn't know what a vegetable was. <laughs> or he did, but it was that thing that he didn't eat. Yeah, I was not a big veggie eater. I don't even think you really ate peanut butter when I first met you. Yeah. Occasionally. Occasionally. Yeah. More of a meat eater, of course. Meat with meat and meat and meat. When I first met you... Mashed potatoes. His, when I first met him, his mom told me, this is how you make his breakfast. Is that? Oh, I thought that was mold. That's a piece of a cauliflower. cauliflower. She said, when you make his breakfast, this is what you got to do. Yeah, Half a pound know. of bacon, <laughs> like three or four eggs, over easy, and about six slices of white bread toast. I remember those days. With a buttload of butter on it. Oh my god, can you imagine that? Yes. <laughs> and I made it. All that bacon? <laughs> and How did I can't I, live? I can't ima I can't even remember the last time when was the last time we even bought bacon now? A while ago. It had to be years, right? Mm, eh, maybe last year, I don't know. No, I don't think so. If At we all? if we do buy it, it's only once a year. About only once a year, and maybe for like a recipe or something that, that I don't eat. <laughs> it's a holiday called Bacon Day. Yeah. <laughs> You've come a long way, baby. Come a long way. Look at you eating those raw veggies. Yeah. Not just veggies, raw veggies. I wouldn't be doing without the dip. It doesn't matter. You're still eating them. That's the important part. I have salad for lunch. Oh! So you sprinkle in a little crack on them. You're still eating them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Honey, you make me so proud. So freaking proud. You have no idea. I did that! Hi, is it dinner time? Are you hungry? Are you hungry? Are you hungry, Homer? Oh, now you talk when it's dinner time, huh? Hi! 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 <laughs> How about you? You're cowering over here behind the thing so that uh, Verdell doesn't see you because he's waiting too. He's got the shakes! He wants his dinner. He's got to wait for his rice to finish cooking though. Yes. What do you think about that? What do you think about that? Hi! Oh! Say bless you, Ma! Hey, Ma! Did you hear me? I said bless you! Hey, Ma! <laughs> She's not talking to you. Hi! Oh, really? Hello? Hello, Gigi. You hungry? Oh, somebody's pawing at me over here. Is it Granny? No, it's Homer. <laughs> That's right. Yes. Oh my god, are you on the New York Yankees? Yeah. <laughs> Do you have any balls to sign for me? Pathetic. <laughs> what are we having for dinner tonight, Looks Derek? Like, <laughs> Looks like rice. Oh. Or are you Swisher? Uh, Swisher's gone. He's not a Yankee anymore. Uh oh. Well, you got that shirt as a souvenir then. Yes. Um, yes, my night with Nick Swisher. <laughs> we got some yellow rice, Spanish rice. I also made uh, brown rice, but that's for the dogs. <laughs> I would have eaten it, but I made a lot more of the yellow, so I'm going to eat the yellow. But I'll probably have the uh, the brown. Uh, is that basmati with seasoning? Uh, that is half uh, like Vigo rice Vigo. yeah and half uh, basmati and cukes of course salad of course they're having cheddar i'm having veggie shreds no sauce uh what do you mean sauce no. we got some sour cream here well yeah but i mean um you know oh you want like uh, taco sauce or something taco sauce or uh whatchamacallit oh by the way i forgot to show you the main bit the uh vegetarian chili Actually, it's just two cans of uh, veggie chili, a can of black beans, and a can of corn. Mm. Flea would be happy. Flea's coming over for dinner. Mm. He doesn't want to be interrupted, though, while he's eating his beans and rice. How is it? Delicious. Oh, well, good for you. <laughs> All right. 
Guess what? We're going to have a little taste test after dinner. No. Yes. What? You'll like it, I promise. We're having this. We're having dark chocolate goji. Because mm. goji is the food of the day. Goji berries. It's the top health... <laughs> Speak much? No. It's the top 50th healthiest food of the day today. Goji berries. Salsa. They're fairly amazing. Did you know that? It's not ancient, is it? Uh, no. They're fairly ama amazing. Are they? Yes. Much like the other top 50 healthiest foods yes, of the day. Yes, they're all amazing. They really are. How could anybody ever get cancer again if they eat that food? Um, if you ask the average person from the United States how many of the top 50 healthiest foods that they eat on a weekly basis, I'm sure the answer would surprise you. It's very low. Am I right? Wouldn't surprise me. Yeah. So there. Okay, bye. Hi. <laughs> All right, so it's 11 o'clock and it's time for dessert. I think I'm just going to have an apple tonight. Yeah, you're going to have one too, Homer? You're going to get a drink first? Yes, I have my blanket dress on. I just filmed um, Bachelor. <sighs> I had a pretty good day today. I did everything on my list except for the water. I even exercised on the treadmill. Uh, I only did half a mile, but it's a start. I've been off it for a while, so I gotta get build back up to where I was doing, um, I think I was doing two miles, I'm not sure. I don't remember, but it was at like 10% incline because I'm a middle-aged woman. Apparently that's, that's something that middle-aged women do. They always put the treadmills up to 10. <sighs> Guilty. Alright, so I'm going to have my apple, finish editing my videos, and that, that's it. That's a wrap. <laughs> but it, but it, that's all, folks. Till tomorrow. Much love.